What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you guys have had a good weekend. We are back with a review of the Spanish League European League highlights player pack and as you can see here on the screen we are in game and we have got Casemiro, Benzema, Vinny Jr, Militao and Cruz from Real Madrid, Busquets and Alba from Barca and then a Spanish uh, selection in the Spanish League. Well they're not all Spanish but we've got Joao Felix, obviously Diego Carlos, Fakir and Bunyu. So there is a nice mix here, I think, in the Spanish League of Spanish League stars. Um, I think that there's a couple of players here that are definitely worth kind of, you know, delving into a little bit more detail. So we are going to be going over to eFootballDB.com in a minute, and then we are going to spin for two as well at the end of this video and talking about how we might get those into, into our squad. Um, but yeah, I think the pick of them, we're going to start with Casemiro and work our way down, and we're going to go over to eFootballDB and look at the players in a little bit more detail then as well. But start with Casemiro lads this guy is an absolute beast if you do not have you know an unbelievable DMF like Makalele or Kante or Vieira Beckenbauer any of those guys of that ilk that are like end game level DMFs this guy is probably one of the best that you could actually pack or actually buy he is about 450,000 GP for his standard card and we'll get into that standard card in a second but if you look at his stats here right he's anchorman and then his actual player skills, man marking, interception, blocker, sliding tackle and fighting spirit with unwavering form, 90 aggression, 85 tackling and 86 defensive engagement. The one area that's probably letting him down here, I would say, is his acceleration. But we can go over to eFootballDB.com now and see what we will train this guy up to be. So if we have Casimir here and we max him out, we're going to have 10 progression points. And straight away, I'm going to pump them into dexterity to bring that up to 74. I'm going to probably leave his lower body strength for his speed at 72. And then we're just going to literally pump in if we don't need, if we want to change this, if we want to add one to a quick counter or whatever we want to do to get it up into the 80s, we will need to do that. But if we are staying with the possession game and maxing out his individual attributes, I would probably put two into defending as well. And that way then you are going to have a player that is 85 defensive awareness, 88 defensive engagement, 87 tackling and 92 aggression. And then you've also got 74 acceleration as well and 94 overall DMF. Now, as I've always said in these reviews and that, lads, if you scratch away at the surface at his standard card, right? Yes, he is 450,000, as you can see there, but he does have a really nice 84 rating at quick counter here, right? So you don't even need to upgrade that if you just have put one point into it. This is his maxed out standard card, the way I would boost him up. So you give one to dribbling, you give one to, or you give a few to dexterity, nine to dexterity, eight to lower body, you get his speed and acceleration up to 74. We bring his defensive awareness and his aggression up as high as we can. And we can even go another one there to bring him up to a 93 overall player. So technically, you're going to have a very, very, very solid DMF here that you don't really need to get this guy if you want to save your coins for this week or whatever. But if you do pack Casemiro, I definitely think he is worth, you know, he is probably the prized pack pull, if you want to put it that way. Now, moving on, we'll go back here a second. Moving back to Benzema. I have done a video on Benzema where we talked about it in one of his last player reviews for the free version of the card, I think. Now, again, Benzema is an absolute beast, but his pace is not going to make him as your like main guy, I would think. I think this guy is coming in off the bench, even though he doesn't have super sub. I think coming in off the bench, if you don't have Lewandowski or you got the free version of him, when we actually go over to uh, eFootballDB and we hover over here, you can see his free version of his card has actually got better stats pretty much across the board like he's one minus in speed and acceleration and in finishing but he's got three plus in offensive and he's got two plus in kick and power so it does kind of even out a little bit um and then again if you are going to be getting this guy instead of his standard card you've only got five levels to go with so you'll have to leave his kind of formation or his play style there and then you're going to want to try and pump it up and i, I think the problem with a lot of these players is the balance and the speed you can see here that even if we pump every stat to get benzema up to a 79 uh acceleration he's still got that 75 balance which doesn't really help him out when he's in one-on-one -on -one situations with very strong defenders so i think that benzema there is better versions of him out there in the breakout stars and stuff like that if you have got the free version of him in the first edition of those free nominating contracts um we've also got when we move back here we also have next in line we have got vinicius jr i think we're going to take a look at and again vinicius jr kind of falls in line that he's only got eight levels 
but he's got 91 acceleration and 87 speed he's got 80 possession game he's got a bag of player skills that will really come in handy if you're using him as out an outright winger i think his standard card does measure up quite well because his standard card i think is like 88 base um or not 88 83 base acceleration we'll just take a look over here so this is his standard card he's got 82 speed 83 acceleration but he's got 31 levels which is quite high so if we open up that and we're going to actually train up vinicius jr as best as we possibly can we can actually get vinicius jr up into the mid 90s like 93 there we can also get him into a 93 there now the speed obviously at this level doesn't really matter as much we can also put his quick counter up to 90 and then you're going to be just working on his shooting well not even his shooting his dribbling i would probably pump him a few into that i would probably put one or two into his, his passing to get his low pass up and then probably the rest are going to go into his dribbling and maybe just throw one into his shooting as well but you were going to get a 93 rated beast there with 90 dribbling 93 speed 90 excel 93 acceleration you could even take one off this and have three points to spare and pump it back into dribbling you know what i mean so you could have a 91 dribble uh player with really 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 solid stats across the board this card that we're seeing here has eight levels so again we can keep that possession game or we can pump one into quick counter whichever way we want to do it but you're going to get this up to 93 and then you're going to get this up to 90 so maybe 90 and 93 and then you don't need to pump in as much to the dribbling you only need to pump in three and then you kind of are in a in a spot where if you're not going to be putting it into passing or shooting because he's finishing you're not going to be playing him as like a kind of a striker up front or anything like that um he's just not going to be good enough in my opinion i think you kind of have to pump it into his speed to bring up that balance a little bit which puts him at 95 acceleration and then you obviously are going to pump the rest in to put him 92 there and then one more for dribbling so it's a very similar card when you break it down um to what he is going to be compared to his standard edition his standard edition of the card is 200 sixty thousand gp so it's not that much to try him out but if you do pack him he is definitely going to be a huge asset to you next up we have got sergio busquets who goes to nine levels again i think busquets is one of the best players that you could buy if you were looking for a dmf as a passer this guy is not pacey at all but if you're looking for a dictator in the middle of the field kind of like a tom brady-esque deep line kind of like spraying passes around really comfortable on the ball tight possession 90 is extremely good i wouldn't even bother like upgrade his uh, acceleration past that i would probably put that up to maybe 67 that acceleration to 70 and then we're just going to focus on his pass and get that up to 90s and then that should do you to get his range of passing you could also if you wanted to you could pump one there and just bring up his uh his his ball control to 85 or 86 and his tight possession to 92 but that is up to you guys as well next up we do have Jordi alba again Jordi alba i'm not like blown away by Jordi alba this year he's got bags of pace he's a really really good player but again that balance when he's coming up against stronger wingers like son or mbappe or somebody like that he is going to slightly struggle this guy's got 12 levels though so his base card has only got 29 levels right and he's 80 overall this card is a starting overall of 88 which is extremely high for a, a special you know addition of the card like this and i do think that Jordi alba could be really good if you learn how to play with him he's more kind of like an attacking minded left back kind of like roberto carlos but he doesn't have the engine of roberto carlos or the strength so what we will be doing is again pumping this into dexterity 90 there we'll get the lower body balance up and or the lower body strength up and the reason we want to pump that up is because we actually want to get the stamina up and his speed just to be able to keep up with the best wingers and then we're going to pump a few into defending to bring that up to like 75 76 um and his 81 aggression so again a 93 rated player isn't too bad back into the actual menu here before we take a look at and we'll just gloss over a few we do have tony cruz again tony cruz i don't think he's going to change the dial for you lads there's so many players out there that kind of i don't know like that they kind of like are i won't say better than him but like yeah he's got 90 pass he's got 86 lofted pass and 88 ball control but again his pace is a big issue if you are having a, a midfielder a center midfielder you kind of do need like a workman like you know a workman a workhorse in midfield i think for most of how you're going to play if you're playing a three-man midfield you need somebody that can get up and down the pitch and you also need somebody to link the ball now cruz could play as a dmf in similar and he would be reviewed in a very similar way that i would have boost gets there that he's going to be a slower paced player but then you've got the likes of tonali who could do it you've got the likes of pedri you've got the likes of nico gonzalez you've got the likes of marcus lorente there's a lot of options that you could have in cmf so he is probably not one that i would recommend if training up if you do get him 
but let me know what you think next up then of course we have Zhao Felix who again we do have up in a second here we do have Zhao Felix up um where I think he's going to be one of these players that you can either love him or hate him he's got 11 levels to go he's 88 overall as you can see there he's got really nice stats really nice player skills he does have standard form which kind of limits him a bit but the biggest problem with him is I think that the gameplay doesn't suit Felix at the moment because the gameplay is all about kind of speed and power um, and he doesn't have either of those. You know, he doesn't have an outright speed for that SS type role. He's just more of kind of a finisher, like in the role of uh, Thomas Muller or somebody like that. Now, he can be good for you. As I said, it's all, you know, it's 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 all about how you play and if you play a possession game, you can, inter, you know, interlink with him quite well the same way as you would with like Balar or someone like that. But I think for this agent he's probably not going to change the dial for you too much. He does have 20 progression points, but once you pump up this and get him to 85, bring his lower body strength up to 85, you are left with probably nothing. So you need to limit that to maybe 82, and then you're kind of stuck because his dribbling isn't high enough and his passing isn't high enough that he's kind of like a halfway house player. You know, you just need him as an all-rounder, and I think his standard card would probably be better for 100,000 with 35 levels, or you could buy Griezmann or Dybala or, you know, somebody like that um next up we've got Fakir and obviously he's got a really nice card here as well 22 and he excels in dribbling so you don't really need to upgrade that too much I think if you're going to be playing him as an AMF you probably just need to boost up his speed enough to be able to compete and then it's all about the passing just finding those intricate passes being able to kind of tread them through and have that in a way that if you do get on him, he's going to be like an Iniesta type player. This guy reminds me of Iniesta so much. I've played with him a bit on my other account, testing him out. Um, and he does have the unwavering form as well. So he is definitely worth a punt, in my opinion. If you do pack him, he's definitely worth training up and going over to eFootball DB here and seeing what you could actually train him up to be. And then last but not least, we've two guys left. We have Diego Carlos again. He's not, in my opinion, going to change the dial for you. He's too slow. Um, he also, you know, he's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He's not the tallest. His physical contact is incredible at 89 with this player card compared to his standard version, which is eight points less. But there is other cards on the market with his strong defenders and stuff where I think he is better defensively, you know. So it's, it just depends what kind of player that you want him to be. Um, I think the two form, the standard form is going to be a bit of a pain as well. So I probably don't recommend you getting him. But most people probably get him because he seems to be coming up a lot. And then we have our goalkeeper. So this guy is this guy is kind of hard to kind of hard to rate because we do have 16 points and we do have the possession game at 80 but getting the reflexes up is, is all we really want here. So once we get this reflexes up um, to the best that we possibly can, we can actually get it to 90 before he maxes out and we can get the rest up as well, you know, to around 84, 85. He has got incredible stats and I know a lot of people actually rate this guy quite highly. He's very tall. He's got a good lot of player skills as well, as you can see here on the cards. Um, he does have a lot of, uh, he does have a lot of interest in, cards are a lot of interesting stats that you could want from your goalkeeper but i think the best thing about it is that like this guy is so cheap to buy a standard card that if you don't pack him you could probably buy him and test him out um before you spin or maybe if you're thinking of spinning you could just probably try him out but listen if you got the 300 coins you know there's nobody really on this in my opinion there's nobody on it in this agent that you could like be you know you know blowing the doors down for i think that there's a couple of nice options if you're looking to round out your squad but um yeah let me know what the crack is lads let me know if you spin or skip this week with the spanish league agents i'll be back quite soon with another player review and i'll be back with my dream team chronicles until next time peace